when I was in bed, I was like, mm, 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 we're watching this on stream. We are watching this. And so we shall watch this. Are we getting the full screen? Also, don't think I'm on the right side for this, though. Move over here, bitch. I'm gonna move over here for now. Let's watch. So today we're going to be talking about a very bizarre situation involving the shoujo's Iron Mouse, who has been the subject of an ongoing harassment campaign for ongoing? several months now. And to what discover what's going on here, we have to take a trip to TikTok, which honestly gives it's Twitter TikTok. a run for its money in the brain rot a competition. Because there's some truly obnoxious stuff going on over at TikTok. And a quick story as to how I discovered all this stuff going on with Iron Mouse. Basically, my wife likes to watch TikToks with me on her phone. Basically, she downloads TikTok on her phone. She gets the Chinese spyware, and I get to <laughs> laugh at Zoomer cringe. It's Yay! an even trade, right? But her feed is mostly normie stuff on that account. So when we saw Iron Mouse pop up, it was like, whoa, there's a, a fellow VTuber. What's going on here? Why is she on the feed? And we click on the video. It's a completely harmless video about anime or something. And the replies are crazy. Like, 90% of the replies... Are hateful and attacking her and you have to think to yourself like who hates iron mouse legit not only is she one of the most successful vtubers and streamers in the world she's so wholesome. she is one of the most well liked okay she is not problematic so in wholesome. any sort of a way if you have beef with iron mouse you have issues okay like there's nobody is trying to gun uh, go after iron mouse okay she's very well liked so i had to do some looking around on her account to understand what is going on here and why does almost Every video from the past dozen or so have a lot of hate comments. Well, it seems like it all began right here with this TikTok and the surrounding story. What's this cut? This is so fucking awkward. Nah! <laughs> Where Iron Mouse won Content Creator of the Year. Here are your nominees for Content Creator of oh, the Year. It's not gonna be me, Iron guys. Mouse. guys stop. People make games. Quackity. Let's go, Spring, Quackity! And Cypher PK. Quackity I saw doing. the slide. And the game award goes to... Quackity! Iron Mouse! What? So, Iron Mouse couldn't be here tonight because Iron Mouse is animated and sadly yeah. we're not in the Matrix yet. She deserved she that send us a award. Message. Take it away, Iron Mouse. She deserved that I'm award! So incredibly honored to have been the recipient of the Content Creator of the Year Award. First and foremost, I want to express my deepest heartfelt gratitude to the incredible community that has gathered around my streams. And I also want to extend a very special thanks to Bishojo, who brings all my ideas to life. Thank you so much oh to my, my team God. that helps me every Guys, single they day. Me that and I thank you so much for the game a video I still can't believe this is all happening. Thank you again, everybody. <laughs> So if you're familiar with how other platforms so like Twitter adorable, reacted man. to Iron Mouse winning this award, you're perhaps not too surprised that the comment section on this TikTok was brigaded by a bunch of people hating on her, including a lot of people Why? from the communities of the other streamers on that nominee list. So they're angry at her. They're saying things like, you know, this is rigged. How did Cypher right. not win? It's one of the top right. comments. Rigged. One of the other top comments saying, who are you? Everyone here to see who Iron Mouse is. Bro did not deserve this. I'm sorry. Who are you? And comments like that. And of course, Bruh. it's very narcissistic. These people on TikTok are like, surely if I, random TikTok user number, number 10,000, have not heard of you, then clearly you are not very important or successful in any sort of a way. I mean, like personally, I look at the nominee list and there was multiple names of people I had never heard of. But I'm self-aware enough to know that the internet is a big place and just because yep. i haven't heard of yep, someone yep, doesn't yep. mean that they're irrelevant it's Clearly, rigged, they're, on that rigged, list. they're very successful and a lot of people watch them so i can recognize that while also not knowing every single person on that list however these people are so angry at iron mouse they're acting like she's a literal who when she's one of the biggest not only vtubers but streamers legit in the most entire subscribed world. Now, female tiktok VTuber. has this sort of trend with users where if one video is getting hate People basically navigate like over to other videos to spread more hate messages because it's very easy to navigate on TikTok from video to video. So it's not too unexpected that the previous video right here that was made before the Game Award announcement would get brigaded by haters. So you see like this is right. over Cypher PK. How did Cypher lose to this? I failed to Holy comprehend shit. how this wins best content creator. How did he win? Yeah. And stuff like that. <laughs> How did this win content creator of the year? No way you won this. And so on and so forth. And you can even see 
in the videos that followed. You would get more con uh, more comments like this. KCO was the real winner uh, down here. What is that thing, by the way? And, and yeah, so this on is literally and so forth, TikTok. asking who she is Yeah, again. TikTok brand wrote. So legit. you think, like, okay, well, that happened back in December. That's yes. when the Game Awards Are were. Are people still December of on that? Clearly, it's going to die out. Like, people can't care that much. Nope, not really. You continue on here. This is another one that she released. This is over a... People... Are people legit still doing that on TikTok to Iron Mouse still as of today? From the Game Awards, which was... When was that? November? December of last year? Holy shit! Month after the uh, Game Awards where the comments are still super negative. What is it doing? This one, this really beat Casey on Jinxie and Kai for streamer of the year. And you can see all this time passes and people are still mad. You can see threats like this, keep yourself safe. Yikes. A subtle, Yikes. So subtle way of telling people to game end themselves. And then you have comments like this, count your days, little bro. All right. these people fuming and you think clearly it won't continue beyond January and February. It's several months. You go to this video. This is from March 22nd. Around four months since the creator, the uh, Game Awards. And you can still see comments. Post on Instagram, please. Post on Instagram, Post please? this on Instagram, huh? please. Why? Down here, some more people saying that over and over again. Uh, post on Instagram, little bro. I, I don't get that. Why? Why are they commenting that post on Instagram? Uh, does anyone know what that's supposed to mean? The fuck? What's that supposed to mean, post on Instagram? He explains. Post this on Instagram Reels. So the reason people are saying this is because oh, if you okay. post things on Instagram Reels, their rules when it comes to bullying and harassment are much looser oh. than places like TikTok. Wow. So they're telling her to do that. So basically, they wow. can a platform to bully her more. Now, I think that's not only unhinged and weird <laughs> to hate on someone like this for literally no reason nah. other than just like jealousy, I guess, but also it shows how really pathetic these people are, right? They're trying to act hard on TikTok, but they're afraid of Bruh. losing their account. Like they won't even say it with their chest. They're afraid of losing their TikTok account. They're absolutely pathetic people. And it's really crazy that they feel like they're so entitled Holy to hate on this shit. creator that they want this person to go into their own arena. They want her to go off platform so they can properly bully her without facing the consequences like having your precious TikTok account get suspended. But of course, that is not the only hate that she has received. There's in fact, other, other large there's content other creator communities on? have brigaded her in What's the past simply bands, for succeeding like well. she did at the Game Awards. Uh, so go back right here. We see no, this let's, let's leave that TikTok one she posted. Let's leave that one then. Sorry, Diablo, first. Right? Like, I agree, from, but sorry. Uh, June 30th of 2023. And you can see all these comments saying this. We all came here from the Kai video, right? This is the number one streamer. And then more references to the Kai video and people's basically saying, uh, you know, Kai somehow sent them over here and this person saying this is she who gets deserves number one subs on Twitch. Those well, that number is what one these people came for. So she basically during the so summer of 2023, Iron Mouse was the most subscribed to Twitch user on the platform, and she had over a hundred and seventy thousand subs. And Kai, who was previously the top, the most sub to person on Twitch, would react to this. But here's the clip that everyone's referring to. Second in subs? Who me? Wait, who got more subs than me? Who got more subs than me, chat? You're lying. You're lying. You're actually lying. You're lying. You need to search Prometheus Flamethrower Gangy. Let Davis try taking that. Holy shit. She has oh, double oh, the who? amount. But I know who Iron Man House is, but is she doing a subathon for 30 days, my nigga? She had, yeah. She gotta be! That was a subathon. <laughs> and C Dog kept it oh, going. She is. Day 27 or some shit. C Dog managed to get that shit going for w's, her. W's, that's not, we that's love nice. Connor. We fucking love so, Connor. So, yes, at the beginning of the clip, he's kind of playing into the who type joke, which honestly, maybe he doesn't know who Iron Mouse is. Like I said, it's a big world, a lot of content creators out there sometimes. 
People Stay just aren't aware comments. of each other. <laughs> but you can see, even at the very least, at the end of the video, he's showing some respect to her and congratulating her and encouraging her. But these people take that as somehow sending yeah, them off so to go send hate to her on TikTok of all places. And these people feel like they were somehow uh, emboldened to go do this when that was not the message that he was sending. And, you know, this is one of those situations I see people raise the argument all the time of, you know, basically a, a content creator is responsible for what their community does. And I think that's a load of bullshit, that right? is especially with larger. Probably, he's probably going to say the same shit I'm about to say, but in a way, we as content creators, I feel so cringe calling myself a content creator <laughs> because I'm so teeny tiny, <laughs> but content creators can not take full responsibility of their communities. Yes, they can fucking denounce the shit they're doing and say, no, I'm not taking any fucking part in this. I don't want you guys to do this. Do not do this. There will still be people that do it. A content creator is not responsible for their community. Like, yes, tell them don't fucking do it, but we can't hold people accountable. We can ban people out of the fucking community, but, like... What are we supposed to do? There's not much we can do. God. Content creators, there's no way you can control the actions of so many people. Legit. But what I will say is when you see all these comments for months on end, especially in the name of other content creators are harassing Iron Mouse, it makes their communities look bad. Legit. Like if you're a VTuber or even an anime fan, why would you want to join these communities? It looks like you're going to get hate just for your hobbies. And these people are like literal like 12 year olds. They're acting like a bunch of spoiled brats who are angry about a VTuber succeeding that doesn't affect them personally in any sort of a way, except it makes them mad because this VTuber is winning awards or getting more subs than their favorite streamer. And that got them so upset. They're going on multiple platforms to hate and doing this over the course of many, many months as we have seen. But that's going to do so it for this video. Awful. I mean, if you want to drop by and, and leave How? nice comments on these videos, I encourage you to. If you have TikTok, like you can see, I don't have TikTok personally. So TikTok, maybe they actually are 12. But, yeah, uh, yeah, maybe. It's just a very sad situation. It's a reminder that, might that actually be true. no matter how mainstream you might think VTubing is, it really isn't. You know, the, the normal side of all this stuff, they still hate VTubers very ignorantly. And they still act like they did many years ago when VTubers were first being introduced into the West, but that's uh, unfortunate for places like TikTok and many other platforms, by the way, but that's gonna do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys listening. As always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. That's actually so fucking crazy. By Amazon and Dex yeah, 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 yeah. But people hating on Iron Mouse, the most wholesome, content creator and vtuber out there how can you hate her i'm oh, sorry it's so fucking inspiring let her be let her have peace like, holy shit no much you don't get food <laughs> people hate on anything they will they will my god